Welcome to TechWeb Dots. Today I am going to discuss coloring Y wordship map in graph data structure series with very easy code example. So let's move ahead without wasting time. As you can see on the screen, all the green parts I have already covered in this graph data structure series. And today we are going to discuss coloring and Y wordship map. And in the upcoming part, we will discuss shortest path and extra algorithm game map. Okay, so let's move ahead without wasting time. As you can see, I have discussed all these concepts in detail and I strongly recommend you to watch these videos before proceeding this example. And in my previous videos, recently I have discussed critical greedy algorithm and Prince algorithm. So I strongly recommend you to watch that. Now let's focus on coloring and what it is. So coloring, it is another graph related topic and we can also say it is a node coloring concept. So what actually it is? Its aim is to assign colors or you can say numbers to all nodes to comply with the rule that there cannot be an edge between two nodes with the same color. Of course, the number of colors should be as low as possible. As you can see on the screen, on the left side, there's a graph right and in that we are using different colors you can see red is there you can see green is there you can see purple is there and you can see blue is there so if you take a look of the first graph shown on the left present a graph that is colored using four colors that i've already explained as you can see there are no nodes with the same color connected by an edge what i mean is there are two colors, three and two with same color green, but they are not connected with an edge. Okay. So this, so this is the main important point when we are talking about the coloring in the graph. Okay. So as you can see similar, we are using the green color again and again, but no two green color nodes are connected by an edge. Okay. And if you will see if we are adding two more edges, on the right hand side graph for example 2 to 5 then we are changing the color still there is no two nodes which are of same colors you can see we have changed the color of 5 to blue okay but still we are not connecting the two nodes with same color so this is the main thing which comes with coloring of graph okay so in such cases we can change the color when we are adding more edges okay so now the question is how can you find color or you can assign numbers for nodes to comply with the a for mentioned rule above okay fortunately the algorithm is very very simple okay when i am when i say colors or numbers so colors we are assigning red green blue and purple and when i say numbers means we are giving zero for all the red color number, we are giving one for all the green numbers, we are giving two for blue number, so we can assign number or we can assign color as well. Okay, I hope it is clear now. Now let's go ahead. So the best way to explain is through an example only, but let me explain a little bit detail what we are going to implement and how we are going to implement previously created videos will be very helpful to understand the graph creation how we have created the graph in my previous series because i am going to utilize the same effort because if we start the graph from the scratch in this session so it will be very long so to represent the graph we will use the same important classes as we used earlier in the previous videos now i will reuse the fill method and create a color method in generic weighted bidirectional graph implementation as you can see on the right hand side this is the fill method that i am using it is doing very simple task we have array we have a value that we are assigning to each element of the array and then we have color and in color we have different responsibilities like updating the color availability and second task is assign the color index so that we came to know which color is assigned to which node of the graph okay and at the end you can see how we are calling this graph 
and how we are printing in computer memory i mean how we are representing the graph okay so let's jump into the visual studio to see all these things in action okay this is my visual studio as you can see i am using the same solution that i have been using in my all previous videos and this is simple asp.net core web application where on the response i am writing all the output that i am calculating in this application okay and what class we are using weighted generic graph okay for more detail please watch the previous videos okay so to save time i have already added the required piece of code which is required to explain the coloring or you can say why word ship map okay so what you are seeing here we are using a color method which is returning an integer array okay and here we are creating a color array and in that we are creating the nodes that we have in our graph okay and in the next line we are giving the default value for each color element okay and on the first index we are assigning its value 0 and then in the next statement we are again creating a one more array of boolean type and the number of elements will be equal to the number of node count and then we are applying the for loop to the number of elements in the nodes that we have okay and then we are assigning the default value in availability array by default is true and we are getting one index variable which is color index now important parts starts here what we are doing here we are updating the color availability okay we are iterating each node by node with its neighbors as you can see we are picking the first neighbor of first node nodes contain all the nodes of my graph and on neighbors we are iterating through we are using the color array and in that we are using the neighbor index value so we know all the colors array element values initially we set to minus one only the first index we set to zero okay so when the first neighbor of the first node will come here and we pass the zero index then the color index will be zero and when we will check the if condition if color index greater than or equal to zero yes condition is true then in the availability which is a boolean array okay we are passing the core index which is zero set to false okay and because by default we set all the values to true now we can track which color we use for the first index element for the first node okay so that's why when it will go, come for the second time and it will pick the second index then definitely color in color index we will get the value of minus one and definitely which is not greater than equal to zero and for rest of the items it will not go into this condition okay so in this way we will get the we will get the first element in availability array and the value is false and once we will check here in the second part in the for loop we are checking the availability here if it is true then we are assigning the value of j otherwise we are simply using the color index value that we are assigning to colors array again we are resetting the value to color index to zero now this time we are assigning the color index to our color array okay and what we are doing in this for loop we are applying through the number of elements we have in the availability array okay and then we are checking the availability and if it is available then we are assigning that index to the color index okay and that index will be assigned to colors so that's how we are updating the color availability and assigning the color index this is the explanation of color method one more method i told you that we have reusing which is fill method it is simply utilizing the array and using the value that we have to assign to each element of this array 
so these are the two parts now the important part is how we are utilizing this method so if you followed me along in my all previous video hi how i am utilizing this solution so i have just commented all the previous sections and just added one new section which is for coloring how i am building the graph so if i go here you will see we are creating the instance of weighted graph we are passing the two values either it is directed or is weighted so in both case we are saying no it is not directed one and yes it is a weighted one okay and then we are adding eight nodes then we are adding the edges between them and then returning the graph very simple and straight okay now we are putting some messages like it's a generic weighted bidirectional graph and we are also displaying the adjacency list implementation that i have already explained in my previous videos okay and at the last we are doing the coloring we worship map stuff okay so what we are doing here we are calling the color method which will return all the color index and i am looping through now i can say the node the weighted graph node dot value that i am appending and at the last i am giving the color i mean in here in terms of color giving the exact color name like red green blue i am utilizing the numbers like 0 1 2 or 3 it will be exactly the same because we are representing it in computer memory once we will connect this to our ui then definitely we can give more colors according to our need we run this solution how it looks like now here is the expected output you can see the first adjacency list implementation and now see, you can see the y ship map how it looks like in computer memory so for node 1 we have assigned value 0 instead of 0 we can use some color as well but here i have used numbers so node 1 is the 0 number node 2 1 and node 3 1 so these are the same number i hope you like this the color concept or you can say the assigning number concept to each node so that Will be very helpful in y worship map as well image that i shown you earlier let's go back to the presentation okay so if you move next from here so you will see what we have seen just now okay so this was a graph that i was talking about and this was our output so if, if you will see for node one we have zero for node two we have one for node three we have one and for node 4 we have 0 for node 5 we have 1 for node 6 we have 0 for node 7 we have 2 for 8 we have 3 so this is how we achieve the coloring or you can say numbering in the graph data sector don't worry about the piece of code i will share the repository link in the description of this video so don't worry about that and i strongly recommend you to do practice as much as possible with that piece of code so very small note on y word ship if someone is not getting what it is so a y word ship is the highest level administrative division corresponding to a province in many countries the term has been in use since the 14th century and is commonly translated into english as province or state okay i hope it is clear now now you can see once we connected this whole concept with ui so it will look something like this so let me give you more context to this picture what actually it is representing the program that represents the map of y ship in poland as a graph okay so this is a structure of that color such areas so that two y ships it means two states with common borders do not have the same color so as you can see in this figure there is no two states have the same color okay of course you should limit the number of colors according to the coloring mechanism so to start let's think about the graph representation here node represent the particular y word ship or you can say states while edges represent common borders between y word ships or you can say states the map of Poland with the graph already colored is shown in the diagram. Your task is just to color nodes in the graph. 
using the already described algorithm that we have just discussed with implementation as well so to do so you create the undirected and unweighted or weighted graph according to the situation and nodes representing y word shape and add edges to indicate common borders so color method is called and the color indices for particular nodes are returned that we have just seen at the end you just present the result in the output form that we have seen in the computer memory representation so you have just learned how to color the nodes in the graph now you must be thinking i mean what is seeing here it is a little bit different what i have explained to you so for that you can again go through my piece of code by taking the repository link which is given in the description of this video and you can modify the code just create a graph and like i have used the node name one two three four five six seven eight you can add all these nodes like pk op and pm zp lb and all these nodes and then add the edges wherever required as you can see there is a different combination of edges between each nodes okay and then call the color method there will be no change in the definition of color method you can use the same as it is just use the same color method loop through and the output will look like this like for pk we use the zero color for lu we use the one color for op we use the two color so these are the color codes you can say in your language so i hope you like this video if you have any question any comment any suggestion you can leave it in the comment box and your feedback is very very important for me because that's the only inspiration for me to create such videos i hope you like the video see you in the next video where we will discuss the shortest path discastra algorithm game map and see you in the next video till then bye bye